Hey everyone, Stephen Robles here, and today I want to show you some of the best ways to share your podcast. People listen to podcasts in lots of different apps and in lots of different ways, and you want to be able to make it easy for them to just click a link and start listening to your show. I'm going to show you some automation so you can share your podcast automatically on your social media whenever you publish a new episode. And I'm going to show you a series shortcut where you can pull the episode link specifically for the new episodes from different podcast providers. Before we get into that, I want to thank our channel sponsor, Buzzsprout. They have incredible tools for podcasters. One of the features built right into Buzzsprout is you can create one of those visual sound bites so you can post it on social media. We're talking about sharing your show. Here's one of our recent podcast episodes. We reviewed No Time to Die, and I can click Create a Visual Sound Bite. I can pull a 30 second clip or different durations. You can select how long of a clip you want to capture. You could play it and preview it. And when you're ready to share it, you can choose, do I want to share with the artwork? Do I want a waveform? What color? And then you can actually save this video file and share it to your social media. You can try Buzzsprout totally for free. There's a link in the description. And there's even a plan where you can upload two hours of audio each month totally for free. So check out that link in the description. Now the first way you can share a new episode of your podcast is if your podcast host gives you a website along with your podcast hosting and feed, then you can share the link to your specific episode. Here's the Buzzsprout page for my latest episode, No Time to Die. And here I can share the episode, get the link, and I could share this on social media. Now again, well, the nice thing about Buzzsprout and other podcast hosts do this is it actually has links to all the different podcast apps right here built in. And so you can listen in Pocket Casts or Spotify, Apple Podcasts, and people can get to those links right here on the episode webpage. So that's a good way to share your website, but maybe you don't have a website for your podcast just yet. Well, here's another service that I highly recommend. It's pod.link. The website is pod.link. That's it. And once you go to that website, you'll see this share a podcast page. So you could search for your podcast or another podcast you want to share. And when you click on it, pod.link actually has a great page where you can preview each episode. You can actually play each episode. I got to change that color. I'll show you how to do that in a second. And then you have all the links to the most popular podcast players, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Google, Overcast, you got Pocket Cast. And this is totally free. You can actually customize your page. All you have to do is claim your show. And to do that, you scroll to the bottom and you'll see a claim podcast option. So once you put your email for the owner of the podcast, remember that's listed in your RSS feed, you'll get an email from pod.link. And when you click that link in your email, you'll see this page. And now I can customize it. I can get a shorter URL and you can get whatever's available, the shortest. Secondary color, I'm actually gonna make it the same as the primary. And so let me just select this, secondary color, and let me publish it. So I set my short link, pod.link slash movies, and it'll get right to this page. People can listen to the episodes, subscribe in their app. When I click a specific episode, it can just play right there. So pod.link is a great way to share your podcast, especially if you don't have a website already. So those are some ways to grab quick links to share a new episode of your show. But what if you want to automate so whenever you publish a new episode, it gets posted to social media automatically? Well, there's a great tool for that, and it's totally free for this use case. It's called Zapier, Z-A-P-I-E-R. You can create multiple zaps or automations for free as long as they're one step. And that's all you need to do these particular sharing steps. So you see, I actually have several zaps here where whenever I post a new episode of Movies on the Side, it gets posted to Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter automatically. I don't have to do anything. When the new episode publishes in the RSS feed, a post gets made. Now, I'm not going to jump into all the details on creating these apps because that could be a lengthy process. If you want me to make a video on that, teaching you how to make these automated zaps for your podcast, let me know. But I'll show you kind of how it's built. There's just these two steps. So the trigger for this automation is whenever there's a new item in the feed, that's when it gets triggered. And so that's the RSS feed that I get from Buzzsprout. You get yours from your podcast hosting provider. What triggers a new feed item? The different GUID or URL. Typically, that's what you want to do. And then you just test it, and that will pull the latest episode of your RSS. And then for the second action, you can do tweet, post to Instagram, or post to Facebook. And here, you can actually choose what kind of post. So on Instagram, I wanted to publish a photo. And this is the super cool thing. Zapier can actually take the podcast artwork that you load in your podcast player. You know, works with Buzzsprout, works with Fireside works with most of the modern podcast hosts. You choose which account, so you log in with your Instagram account to post it there. And then you can actually create your post. And so I choose what item in the feed as actually the photo. You'll see I can go down here and the image URL is right there. And so I wanted to pull that image URL 
for to be the post. And then for the caption in Instagram, I can type in some text and then I can pull in items from the feed, like the title of the episode and the description. So the little description you put in the summary for that episode can actually be used in the post, in the caption for Instagram, in the tweet, or in the Facebook post. Once my zap is complete, it just runs. I turn it on and it runs automatically. And you'll see on the Movies on the Side Instagram page, every post that says movie review was actually automatically posted by Zapier. I didn't have to do anything. It pulled the image from the RSS feed for that episode and the episode description and used it as the caption. So Zapier is a great way to automate posting your new episodes on social media and it covers all the bases. It gives you the image, link, Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Now, I wanna show you another way you can share your podcast and this will be getting the specific episode link in a couple of the big podcast players and then you can send that link to social media or wherever you'd like. So I'm actually gonna jump into the Shortcuts app here on my iPad mini. And one of the shortcuts I have is Share AI Podcast. That's the Apple Insider Podcast. Now I have some steps here. The first one is to get the clipboard and I set that as a variable. Let's say I was already in Twitter and I type something like, hey, check out this new episode. And I actually want that as the tweet and I forgot to start in the shortcut. Well, let me copy this and my shortcut will grab what's on the clipboard and use it in the next post. Shortcuts have steps for getting episodes of a specific podcast in Apple Podcasts. So you see, I get episodes of Apple Insider, I get last item from episodes, and I get the store URL from that item and list, and then I set that as a variable. That pulls the specific URL for the new episode in the Apple Podcasts app directly. So when someone clicks that link, it takes them directly to that new episode. Then I also want to get a link for Overcast, and Overcast, I can get the specific link. So what I do is I actually open the Overcast page for my specific podcast, and I can copy and paste the link to the new episodes. I'll show you how that works in a second. And then I take everything together, and you'll see this text block here. It puts it all together. So I have the tweet, which whatever I copied and pasted from the beginning, it takes the Apple Podcast link episode there, the Overcast link, and then I go back and forth. Sometimes I want a link to Spotify, sometimes to Pocket Cast, and it's not as easy to get those specific URLs, so I just link to the podcast itself on Spotify, like the main podcast page, which people will get to the latest episode pretty easily. So let me show you what it looks like to run the shortcut. I'm gonna hit play. You'll see it automatically pulls the latest episode from Apple Podcasts and the link. Now it loads the podcast page in Overcast, and what I can do is tap and hold on the latest episode, tap copy, so now that link is on the clipboard, and I'll hit done. And now I'm thrown back into Twitter, because I wanna tweet this out, and when I hit paste, you'll see it actually has the Apple Podcast link directly to that episode, the Overcast link directly to that episode, and the Spotify link to the podcast page. And then there you go, I can share the latest episode in Apple Podcasts, Overcast, and then Spotify, or whatever other service I wanna type in there. And people can click those links and get directly to the newest episode. So that's a great way to automatically share your podcast. I run that shortcut every Friday when there's a new episode of Apple Insider, every Sunday when there's a new episode of Movies on the Side, and it shares those specific links to my social media. And again, Zapier, again, is a great tool, especially to automate Instagram, pull that custom image per episode, which I encourage you to do, you know, do a custom image per episode, and it can pull that different image every week. And so again, these are great tools to automate it, let me know if you have questions or if you'd really like me to go step-by-step step into some of these automation features, whether it's the shortcuts or Zapier. Drop a comment below. Let me know what questions you have about podcasting in general, tech, Apple stuff. I'd love to be able to answer those for you. Of course, like this video and subscribe to the channel. I got more tutorials coming and there's some tips even in the shorts on the channel. You should check those out. You can listen to the podcast that I host and produce. The links are down in the description as well. You can go to mots.fm for the movies on the side one that I've shown in the video. And you can follow me on Twitter. Shoot me your questions there. I'd love to interact with you in the comments and on Twitter. Thanks for tuning in. I'll catch you next time.